Hi there, welcome to the channel. We'll be exploring some of Adelaide's amazing little restaurants, shops and bakeries that serve incredible desserts, pastries and sweet things. If you've got a sweet tooth, stay tuned and take a journey with us as we explore the world of sweet things in Adelaide. Our first stop is a place called Eggless. The dessert bar specializes in seasonal cakes, tarts and desserts. Their desserts are simple, home styled with a focus on delicious flavors and textures. One of my favorite things about Eggless is that you can actually get a platter of miniature desserts made up of all of the month's specials. In my opinion, the most interesting ones incorporate some of the Asian flavors like matcha and pandan leaf. This is a great spot because they change their specials monthly, so not restricted to one visit. Next up is Chuck Wagon 75. Although Chuck Wagon is known for its diner food, Today, it's all about the great desserts. They serve some incredibly unusual desserts like deep fried ice cream and toffee sauce. If you want to upgrade that one, you can get the One Smart Cookie. This includes a cookies and cream ice cream, chunks of chocolate, cream, and a hot sauce of milk and white chocolate. This is not one for the faint hearted. I think the most famous one would be the little jar of happiness. The happiness in the jar consists of a milkshake, cones, sweets, waffles and sauces. If that doesn't bring some happiness to your sweet tooth, I'm not sure what would. One of my absolute favourites is Shibu. Shibu is a little dessert bar based in Adelaide CBD. Their menu is filled with incredible desserts that not only taste great, but look stunning. The menu is filled with mouth-watering options and is often difficult to just choose one. They also made a great range of macarons that I just can't seem to go past. You can always find their pop-up store in Rundle Mall as well. Then, if you had all of the festivals, look out for their festival kiosk. In these kiosks, you'll find some of the items not served in the main restaurant, like the mochi donut, the Thai tea ice cream, and the raspberry candy soft serve. Our next stop is Marathi. Marathi is a French style patisserie and bakery. They make some incredible cakes, pastries and delicate little petit fours. Choose from their delectable choice of cakes, grab a cup of good coffee and take a seat on their tables on the walkway while the world goes by. absolute favorites in Marathi would be the French opera cake and the good old vanilla slice made with some French panache. The next one is Astonish Patisserie. It's been around for more than 10 years in Adelaide. All their great products are designed and handcrafted on site to produce the best quality patisserie. The products aim to indulge and delight everybody's taste buds. If you're in the mood for something a little different, this is definitely a spot for you. Brown's Barossa Donuts. They are based out about an hour north of Adelaide. This is definitely a great place to get some gourmet donuts made freshly on the premises. 
it's always difficult to choose one specific one so we end up with a box filled with all the different types of donuts also don't miss the raspberry jam freshly made on site even with all these choices strangely enough my favorite is the cream cheese scroll which is not even a donut another great place not to miss is manila restaurant this little Filipino restaurant has got some interesting desserts and cakes. The first one we're covering is an ube sponge cake with a nice sweet center and icing sugar all around. My top dessert here would be the Hello Hello. It's served with caramelized bananas, jackfruit, vanilla flan and fruit. This traditional Filipino dessert is a shaved ice pudding. This cold and sweet dessert is perfect for those hot summer's days when you just need to relax and chill down. The next stop is in the Adelaide Hills in the little town of Stirling. The Red Cocoa Chocolatier and Coffee Shop is my absolute favorite stop when in the hills. The owner is an incredible chocolatier and makes everything from scratch on the premises. A good way to get a little bit of everything is to order one of their dessert platters for two. These platters could include the cakes of the day, tarts, biscuits, macarons and chocolate selections. The shop is also stocked with many of the chocolates, biscuits and tarts that can be taken home for yourself or for that person that didn't make the trip up with you. One of Adelaide's best bakeries is Jenny's Bakery. This family owned bakery makes some unique and fresh gourmet products on a daily basis. They're also famous for turning your everyday chocolates and biscuits into some seriously good treats. Once again, the choice is incredible and we always end up with a box of different goodies to take home. Another interesting stop would be Seven Grounds. This unique little restaurant has got a twist of Asian flavors. My favorite would be the Japanese honey toast, dripping with hot chocolate over the honey drenched toast with fruit and ice cream. Another signature dish would be the ube French toast and that's served with pandan custard. We end this at my absolute favorite restaurant in Adelaide, Syed and Zatar. Their signature dessert is a pistachio ice cream sandwich. The outside is a pulled pastry from the Middle East. It's also served with crushed pistachios and honey drizzle. This is an unusual and spectacular dessert to finish off our series. If you've enjoyed all of these sweet things, please drop a like, comment, share and subscribe. And hopefully we can follow it up with another good series. Also check out our street food series and we'll see you at the next one.